Hello and welcome to another episode of Bright Dream Robotics. My name is Ayele Komodo Mensa. Today we are continuing with our series with the Lego Robot Inventor. And finally, we get to build our robots. As mentioned in our previous episodes, you have to pick out the pieces you would need for your build before you begin. So you would see here all my pieces I'm going to need for this build. I have my hub, the wheels here, motors, pins, I have frames and beams here, and my ultrasonic sensor. So let's start putting it together. With the robot inventor, the steps can be found online with the app, um, as compared to the EB3 where you have to get the book in addition. So first, um, we take the hub and connect the battery pack. As the first step done, this is the second. The next step, we take these two beams here and connect it to the base of the hub. Next, we take our frame, already has been connected, taking it out, and turn the hub Connect it. The next step, we take two beams, two pins, and these beams as well. Pay particular attention to where it's facing, the direction in which the beam is facing. So, with this, we put it to the right of this beam and Counting from the top here, we put this pin in the second hole. We'll do the same for the second beam. This time, on the other side. Right. So now we can insert these here. Right. The next step, we take our two motors. You can start with one and then one beam again. With this side facing downwards, we insert this here. Now we can add this motor to the hub. Okay. So for the second motor, we take this beam and this time this side here will be facing upwards and then we insert the beam at the base of the motor. So for the next page, we would now insert the motor to the side. Okay, we pass these um, cables underneath the motors and then we insert it into the hub. Can you guess why it's important to wrap it down here? Well, it helps to keep the cables out of the way when you are building. You don't want your cables wrapping around your wheels when your robot is going. The next stage, we take two more beams and then six pins. That's a three by five beam. So we'll put one, at the beginning of the three, the, the length three, and then we we'll put one at the beginning of the five and one in the middle, like this. Then we'll do the same for the second beam, but this time it will be facing the left. So one at the tip of the three, and one tip of the five, and one in the middle. So now we can insert this here at the top. It helps keep it sturdy. Okay. The next stage we take two more pins and we turn the build around and insert it down here. Now we can work with the ultrasonic sensor. 
This here is the ultrasonic sensor. The ultrasonic sensor or the distance sensor helps the robot to identify obstacles in front of it. We will go much deeper into this and other sensors in our subsequent episodes, so do make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Next, we'll take this and four of the blue pins. Then we can insert the pins here. These will go to the side of the ultrasonic sensor. And now we can add the sensor to our build. So we're starting to take shape. The ultrasonic sensor is connected and the cable is passed underneath one of the motors and connected to one of the ports. In the next stage, we're going to take this panel and two more of the blue pins and we would insert it at the tip of the panel. The next stage, would require a five lens beam, one blue pin, and two black pins. So here we would insert the black pins here, pass the beam across, and insert the blue pin in the middle of the panel. So now we take the, this piece here and add it to our assembled robot. The next stage, we'll take our lens 9 beam and one length 1 beams and take two long pins. We would insert the long pins at the very end of the beam like this and have the length one beams inserted here and this would go to the very top here okay now we get to the wheels so the turn axle goes to this side. Make sure it's loose and put this wheel here. The next stage we take this piece here and pass it to to touch the wheel and we take this white beam and lock it in. So we have one side of the view. We'll do the same for the other side. It's always important to take note of the side of the beam you are passing your axle to. Otherwise, you might end up connecting one side to the left and the other side to the right. So this side was connected to the left, so I'll do the same for the one going on the right. Here, pass this through and get this through. Now I can connect these two together. There we have it. I'll take two blue pins. Pass it to the top. Do the same for the other side. Now I can connect it to the robot. So here at the very top, we have our lopsided robot. 
So you take eight pins, we have our eight pins, and then we can attach our eight pins to the motors. So here, and we turn around and do the same for the other side. Now we can add our wheels. Now we're going to make our robot look beautiful, add some eyebrows to these eyes. So we take our beam and three blue pins. Okay, so we're going to insert the pins in the second, fourth and sixth holes. And take these three and add it. And take two blue pins. So now we can connect this to the robot. Looks cool. Next, we are going to add some, let's say some bumpers to the wheels. So you don't scratch your robot. We'll take these two panels and four pins, black pins. The panels are labeled 21 and 22. So you just have to take note of the ones you choose. Don't go and pick two of the 21 panels. So with each panel, I insert the black pins, this side and on this side. So now we are going to add our pieces to the robot. Um, with the ultrasonic sensor facing me, the 21 piece will go to the right and the 22 piece will go to the left. Last stage, we take these. These are one and two. We need two pins and two long gray pins. So we would insert one black pin at the bottom of this and one gray pin here and the second gray pin at the bottom here and the black pin at the top. And this will come to the front of the robot with the ultrasonic sensor towards me. The one pin would come to the right and the two to the left. Comes through here and it's locked in place with the gray pin. This side also comes through here and locked in place. the gray pin, keeping everything steady. And finally, we have Tricky, ready to show the world what it's got. So congratulations, you have completed your first build of the robot. And we are ready to do wonders with it. So if you are ready like I am, do make sure that you subscribe and join us in our subsequent episodes as we move around the world of Tricky and perform some marvelous tricks with it. Thank you for watching.